Hi, my name is Jonas and I'm bringing you another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and this time I will take a look at how we can uh, interact with stuff. Um, if we look at what we have now, we have this uh, character then we could go into first person, this true first person uh, experience and let's say I want to interact with something. Uh, there are several ways we can do this and uh, one thing that I, when I initially started out working with Unreal Engine was try this uh, ability to look in the general direction of an item and then be able to interact with it. So let's take for example, I have uh, the starter content down here, some props and let's bring in a ball of some sort, a uh, sphere and maybe a chair, could be a a door or something could be a lamp um, oh, let that go okay like this and all of these things uh, I want to be able to interact with in some kind of way and I don't want to be able um, to interact with them uh, by pointing directly at them necessarily just by pointing in the general direction of them so we can uh, first of all let's take a look at how we can actually get uh, this interaction going Inside settings, uh, we have to set up a key for interact and on the input as usual, we define some keys and I, I'm left handed so I have H uh, defined as my interact key and also as a nice guy and defined the E in the normal E uh, character. Um, yeah, character. Anyway, um, so when I press, press H, uh, I uh, will fire this interact event. So let's find a free space down here somewhere. Okay, so let's say interact. We have this action event. So whenever I interact is pressed, I can do something. And the usual way of um, making this work is by uh, firing out a line trace. Uh, so let's quickly go over that uh, because we need it in a moment maybe. Uh, or at least to have an understanding of how this works. Um, so uh, line trace by channel. And it takes a start point and an end point. So for this, let's get um, get actor location and use that as a starting point. And we will fire this uh, trace line out from the in the direction of the camera. So we, now we have two cameras, but it doesn't really matter because we they both face the same way. So let's just get the forward vector um, of this and uh, multiply this by well, 5,000 5, like this and we want to offset this from our starting point so like this okay and then plug this into the endpoint and for this demonstration we will also oops, uh, set for duration so we can see the line actually going out okay so let's see how this works so when I press the, the H button, you can see I fire out the line. And if we go into first person here, see I hit the door and that's nice. And I hit the ball, but maybe I miss something and it kind of gets annoyed that I can't really hit hit the right thing because I'm not pointing straight at it, which I apparently is pretty good at, it seems. Anyway, um, that is kind of the problem that I, 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 I want to tackle in this uh, coming videos. So, in order to uh, understand what we really want to do uh, and my concept of this, uh, I think I should make a little drawing. Um, so here's my trusty paint. So let's say I have this, my, this is my character and I'm facing uh, this direction. What? This direction. Okay. So, uh, and let's say I have a bunch of uh, objects, um, not that one, sorry, uh, this one, this is an object and this is also an object. So, um, when I'm facing this direction and I'm within them, their range, so let's say they have some kind of uh, range defined on them. Let's make a green circle and make this oops, off like this maybe maybe a little bigger something like this 
So um, let's say I'm within the range of this one and I'm also uh, like this. So this is the center of this one. So as you can see now, I'm kind of uh, in the range of both of these objects here and I want to be able to interact with one of them. But, and the, obviously the one I want to interact with is the one that are closest to me, uh, the, the way, sorry, uh, black one, why is that here? Um, so it will obviously be uh, this one I'm interested in. So what we can, we can uh, try to work with here is, uh, see, look at the angle in between my looking direction and the object that I'm within um, reach of. And there's also uh, an angle here, which is larger than this one, so obviously I will choose this one. So this is a general concept that uh, we're going to use. And in order to make uh, this work, we need to use the dot product of two vectors. Um, and um, I think I'm going to continue with this in the next video. So kind of break this up in smaller bits because it's uh, probably going to take a few um, yeah, episodes, I think you call it, uh, to get through this all this functionality. Um, so let's take a break here and continue in the next session. All right. Thank you. Bye.